The text animators are really powerful in After Effects, but did you know that besides the default range selector mode, there is an expression selector that is super useful but not particularly intuitive and I feel often overlooked. It has these three variables. The selector value is the percentage of how strongly the effects, in this case the fill color, is getting applied to the text. By default, it will be 100% unless you have other selectors on your text layer before it. For example, if you limit a range of 0 to 50% before it, the latter half of the characters aren't affected by the expression because the selector value has been set to 0 for them by the previous selector. The text index is the sequential position of each character, or word or line, depending on which mode you've chosen. So this character has text index 1, this has 2, this has 3, and so on. And text total is just the number of total characters in this text layer. So I reckon the best way to think about this is that this expression will get calculated for each individual character and output a value between 0 and 100 that indicates how much these effects under this text animator affect that particular character. So in this default state, the reason we're getting this gradient is because for each character its text index is getting divided by the total number of characters so that every next character is getting increasingly more red color than the previous one as the text index is counting up from left to right. So how can you use this expression selector to your advantage? Well, you can use some simple math to achieve effects that otherwise would be really cumbersome to do. For example, you can affect every other letter by calculating modulo of 2 from the text index. If you haven't worked with modulo before, I have a whole video about it, go check it out. Or if you want to flip the selection, you can just minus 1 from the text index. Or you can do modulo 3 to affect every 2 out of 3 characters. Or you can introduce the time variable to get some interesting and complex looking animations going. Or let's say you want to affect the first and the last character of the text layer, no matter how long the text layer is. For example, you would like these quotation marks to have a different color than the rest of the text. You can write a really simple short conditional statement saying that if text index equals 1, so the first character, or text index equals the text total, which would be also the number of the last character, then the value is 100, for all the other characters it's 0. Or we can create some wild color effects. As you can see, the expression selector actually takes an array of three values, so we can control red, green, and blue channels separately. If we go and set the text color to black and then our animator fill color to white so that it has all the color channels at maximum intensity to work with, we can now use the array of values to control the color. For example, if we go 0 for red, 100 for green, 0 for blue, we get a green text. Or we can generate, say, a random number between 0 and 100 for each of the channels, and we get a text that has a random color each frame. But remember that this expression gets run for each character individually, so we can have a unique random seed for each of them by using their text index as the seed number. If you don't want it animating, you can lock the random seed by adding true to the seed random. It's a really powerful technique because you have a lot of control over the randomness. For example, you can hook up a slider control to control the random seed, you can tame the randomness with blending it with specific color, lots of possibilities.